Bolevnaka and Pacific greetings to all of you. Now the project is a very important one because uh, it tries to connect together the problem of uh, climate change. People, particularly the young people, the environment and society generally uh, is very important for our young people who are leaders of tomorrow, especially the uh, minority indigenous uh, communities who are most vulnerable to uh, climate change to be part of this particular project. So the project is to do with connection. The project has to do with generation of knowledge. The project has to do with uh, making sure that we address the issues of uh, adaptation and how we can use our experiences, our reflections, our capacity, our cultures, our technology, our intellect to be able to save our planet. This project takes a cultural strengths-based approach to supporting young Pacific students to tackle big challenges, but it begins with what we know. We do STEAM education, uh, science, technology, engineering, arts and math, um, leading through Pacific arts, language and culture. Um, being part of this project has really uh, exampled how leading through our arts, our culture and our heritage, particularly with climate. So one of the first questions I want to ask you is what do you want to see in your community, in your neighbourhood? Um, more waterways on the side of the streets to prevent flooding. More waterways? Love it. Amazing. Love it. Thank you having a group of people to help the people who are suffering around in our community. Um, more natural spaces like playgrounds and like open fields instead of big buildings. Um, more gardens around crashes pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more electric motor vehicles for less carbon admission and at an affordable price for less <coughs> fortunate people. Uh, more solar panels so they can like use the sun. Solar panels? Yeah. Yeah, the solar panels are something else. I see all the rice actually. Gardens. Gardens. From this community and success-based approach, we also work on finding places we love and people and organisations that can support collective action to address issues that might matter to young leaders and their communities. As an artist um, and somebody that advocates for the arts, I'm a true believer that arts is life and life is art. We're more likely to come to a place of solution that is wholesome for ourselves, that's healing for individuals, but also um, presents collective power. Saving the planet is the ultimate goal. Certainly humanity is looking at young people as uh, the future of tomorrow. 